Okay, we've logged in again. Not if uh, you can see me. Check if I am logged in, and then you can log in. Uh, John, if you can't hear me, please let me know. Please check now. Are you there? Can you hear me? Want to see who and who has. Okay, we have. Okay. Are we there? Please let me know if you have entered. Okay, can you share the, the link now? Can you share the link now? You can send to me, let me send to them. No, don't come. No, don't come. You are here now. So, okay, I think uh, some. People have uh, entered. I can see Gadimo, Leonard, uh, Celebrity, uh, Guest Ahiakwo, Mohammed Rabi, Jennifer, Richard. Okay, so those who did not use their, their name to log in, should please write their names. If you use your name to log in, you don't need to write your name because we will see you. Uh, but if you are using another name to log in, you should please write your name clearly. Uh, I welcome every one of you. Share the link now to the class this morning. You can send to me. We want to see how we can uh, do the class this morning so that. Uh, so if it works out well, then you so, can put the light now. Okay, I think we'll uh, using people online like most of the time, time. especially I can see in the morning Gadimo, like this when you people need to uh, celebrity uh, when it will take you time to pack uh, and come. Best I have so, while on your way. You can grab you, Jennifer, uh, Richard. Uh, log, you can log in and be following the class until you get to. Okay, so where those who did not use they are actually uh, to log uh, sit down and please. Right so, so far, we, we have come to this to length, and uh, what I would say, if there is any question uh, you need to ask, if you, you can just type it on the comment session, on the chat session, I will respond clearly. Somebody will tell me uh, I will if call uh, everyone there is a question, and I will respond to the question. Morning, but as it, still, as it is, we are going to start we can in earnest. Uh, do the class. We're going to start. So, that, uh, so the the well, course, of course, we know is accounting okay, information uh, systems. Like most of the time, uh, so we have gone the morning, like, into the course, and uh, we, need to, we are continuing uh, today. Uh, we are going to, time to look at the difference between accounting information well systems and management information uh, systems. Uh, I try to so illustrate it in a diagram, the hypothetical manufacturing firm that has a management information and system on right. one so side, so far accounting system on one side, and I also right told you that uh, and, uh, the management information system any question, uh, has accounting information, just type it it is broader and wider, on so the we are going to look at the the differences uh, in the two question and how they relate. I will respond to the question. The distinction between AIS, AIS and MIS centers on the concept of transaction that's illustrated below. So we must know that accounting for us to look at the difference and be able to understand it very clearly and correctly to the cost, we should look at transaction. Today, transaction processed to, uh, by the information look system. At the difference between accounting of course, information whatever management uh, is going on in an organization ends up in transactions. It is transactions that accountants record. It is transactions that management take note of. Management information system 
the, the difference as we are going to see in center and transaction. That, uh, so if you look at the information system, the diagram has accounting information. Like I told you, every one of you must learn how to draw. I hope you have your ruler, your pencil, your book, so that you can draw. I'm going to leave the pages longer for you to practice how to draw while you are listening to me. Because in the exam question, you have a lot of drawings so to do. We must know that it's unlike a for calculation course where you calculate. In this one, we are going to do a lot of drawing. So we we have financial transactions and non-financial transactions. Of course, whatever it is the financial transaction that leads to information system in transactions. It is and then that accountants the, transa the, the information system that management take will now process, process those transactions the, to the information. We are going to see the information system will process either the financial transactions or the non-financial transaction to information. And if they process it to information, how to draw the information will be delivered to the users in order to make can inform decisions draw everything in the last class for you we studied practice how to draw while you are this drawing we should look at so we we have we should all take note of that as we go on in the lesson without decision you cannot Okay. Is there any mic that is on? Maybe it's from here, but uh, reduce your own first. Are we? Uh, you know that is on the side, right? So it might be affecting it. Is it still sounding double? Is this still sounding double? Please check. Let me know. Can you can you hear it clearly now? Check whether the thing has been corrected. Can you hear it clearly now? Please don't put your matriculation number. Your name is enough. Okechuku Wija. Your name is enough, no need for matriculation number. Okay. Yeah, so you can hear very well now. It's, it's, the sound is clear now. You can hear. Huh? Can you hear? The is it still doing that? Hello. Can you hear well now? Please, somebody should tell me if the repeated repetitive sound is still there. Is it still repeating? Huh? Okay. I think check your sound because it's okay here. Check your sound, it's okay. okay. It's now okay. Okay, so we will continue. Sorry for the uh, interruption. So we talked about uh, financial uh, transaction and non-financial transactions. Please take note of that because that's where we're going to dwell on to actually bring out the difference between uh, AIS and MIS. The information system accepts inputs called transactions which are converted through various processes. 
into output information that goes to users. So that's what is illustrated by this. This is the transaction that are converted by the information system and turns into information and release it as output. So the financial transactions here serve as inputs, which goes into a processing. And once it is processed by the information system, it turns to information. And then it is this information that is rolled out as output to the users, which will help them to make decisions. Transactions fall into two classes, financial transactions and non-financial transactions. Before going on, we need to distinguish this. But broadly, transaction, a transaction is an event that affects or is of interest to the organization and is processed by its information system as a unit of work. So that is the broad definition of a transaction. The broad definition of a transaction is an event, something that happens, that takes place, or that will take place. And that thing relates or affects the organization. This is going to be, this event is going to be processed. Like I told you before that uh, the major thing we look at is uh, event resources and then the personnel uh, who handle that event and then the resources. So this event, when it is put into action, becomes transaction. This definition encompasses both financial and non-financial events because financial transactions are of particular importance to the accountants. Understanding of information systems. We need a precise definition for this class of transaction. So since we have given you a broad definition of transactions, then we'll look at financial transaction. A financial transaction is an economic event that affects the assets and equities of the organization. It's reflected in its accounts and is measured in monetary terms. Now, when we say something affects the assets and equities of the organization, of course, you know that once the asset increases or decreases, there will be expenses or revenue. There will be also liabilities that could have been incurred or paid that will lead to a decrease or increase in asset. The same thing goes to equities. Uh, revenue, if we make income, equity will increase. If we made loss, equity will reduce. And then we also have the long term, uh, the non current liability and the uh, current liabilities that will either increase or decrease. All of them impacts on assets. You know that asset is defined as uh, equity plus liabilities. So when we say economic transaction or financial transaction, that, that financial transaction is an economic event that affects the assets and equities. We are talking about anything that the business goes into that will either increase the business uh, asset or reduce the business asset, increase the business equity or reduce the business equities. These are known as financial transactions. So it means that if one goes to the market to buy something for the company, it's a financial transaction. Anything that involves spending money, whether you have paid it or not, is a financial transaction. Sales of products to customers, purchases of inventory from vendors and cash disbursements, and receipts and are examples of financial transactions. Every business of mission is Either you plated it or you did not uh, recognize it at all or you reduced it, then the regulators will frown at it. In fact, you will be found guilty of an offense because the government requires that you have an external auditor that will come and express opinion 
about the account that you have prepared. And in, express, in expressing that opinion, the auditor will carry out work to find out whether you have recorded all your transactions properly, both according to the standards and according to the laws, and that all these things have been properly recorded. So if they found that you did not record it properly, they will qualify the, the account, their opinion. They will not give you a clean opinion. So that is why every business is bound to uh, record their financial transaction in the right and appropriate manner. So that when the auditor comes, when the uh, government, the government uh, regulators come, tax of people come and all the rest, they will see that you have a clean record and they can rely on the record you are given. If your financial statement is not reliable, then nobody can trust your company. It will affect the company legally and otherwise because investors may not even want to invest in that company. So non-financial transactions are events that do not meet the narrow definition of a financial transaction. We have already looked at the whole, the definition of transaction as a whole in a broad way. Then we have come to limit financial transaction to events that will lead to increase or decrease in asset, increase or decrease in equity. So it's a very narrow definition that we have given now we're saying that any other transactions that will not cause this is not known as financial transfer, but non-financial transaction. For example,